Since we only have one model to work with, uh, this would actually uh, be a little bit more interesting if we create another model. And I'm going to create a user model. I'm not going to because this is an introductory, uh, just kind of intro video into how RSpec works. I'm not going to create a device user with all the different authentication mechanisms that it has. Uh, so uh, this is not the way to create a, a true user interface. If you watched my last uh, last series, uh, then you've seen how to create a device user. I'm not going to be doing that because that would I'd have to spend a lot of time on building that side of it out uh, when really I want to just show you some fundamental keys on how RSpec works. And in my next RSpec course, uh, we'll get into how to actually test device and uh, test all these other things. So um, I'm going to do Rails G model, and I'm going to call this one user. And I'm just going to give the user a name, which is going to be a string then a email, which is also going to be a string, a password, if I can spell it correctly, and then uh, this is gonna be a string. Obviously, we'd never do this in real life uh, because we would encrypt our passwords and that kind of thing. But like I said, this isn't a real authentication mechanism. This is just to show you how we can set up some models. So uh, we're just gonna create this, and then I'm going to run uh, bundle exec rake db migrate and that's going to create our migration for us and let us have access to this new user model so I'm going to say rails c and just make sure that uh, this is working yes we have our user and so now we can in the next video create some tests to create this user and then set up some relationships between this and our photo blog posts